In this tutorial, I'm going to show you through some of the more advanced features and techniques in Presentation Builder. Currently in my canvas, I have a single slide for the central idea. If I want to create a new slide from a branch, I simply select that branch in the canvas and click on the plus button, which will add the new slide next to the existing one. We can do that again. This time I'm going to miss out the author's branch and choose the one labelled Hemingway instead. Now, if I want to add a slide in between two existing slides, we use the smaller plus buttons in between slides. So I'll select the branch and now choose this smaller plus button here. And as you can see, the new slide has been added here. Using the techniques already learned, I'm going to add the rest of the child branches from authors. To group these child branches together into a single slide, we simply select them all using shift and select and call the group function. As you can see, they've been combined into a single slide. There's also some cool features in Presentation Builder which will help us create and finish our presentations much faster. I'm just going to clear my workspace so we can take a look at the autocomplete functions. You can simply click this button to autocomplete your presentation, but if we click on the arrow to the right we will get extra options. The first of which is autocomplete by main branches first, which will create group slides for every main branch and its children. So the fiction branch and all of its children, this is the crime branch, this one's all of the poetry, and in total we have 10 slides. I'm going to undo this to show you the other option. This option will create a slide for every single one of your branches. So fiction has its own slide, crime has its own slide, and in this function it will order your slide so that it will play all of your main branches first. This is a great starting point for extra customization. Like before, we can now shift and select slides and group them together. We can also rearrange the order of the slides to our desired preference. Simply drag the slide that you'd like to move to its new position, like so. This is our default presentation. I'll click save to ensure our changes are recorded. We can also create multiple presentations for a single map. To do this, simply click here and choose create new presentation. Give this a name, press OK, and now we have a new blank canvas to work on our new presentation. As before, we can add slides to this in any order we choose. This time I'll begin with business, authors, and so on. We can switch between presentations by choosing another save presentation from the combo box. Here's our previous default presentation, and back to my new presentation. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Stay tuned for more.